let's say we're asked to draw all of the structural isomers that have the molecular formula C5H12. The word isomer means same parts, and so we're talking about the same number of atoms. All of our structural isomers are going to have 5 carbons and 12 hydrogens. Our isomers are going to differ in how those atoms are connected to each other, so they differ in terms of their structure. And that's why we call them structural isomers. You can also call them constitutional isomers. So we need five carbons, so for our first isomer, we could just draw five carbons in a chain. So here are my five carbons in a chain. And you should have already seen the video on bond line structures before you watch this one. So let's draw out those five carbons and let's double check and make sure we have the correct number of hydrogens. The carbon on the far left has three hydrogens, so here we have our three hydrogens. The next carbon has two, same with the next carbon, so two for this one two for the next carbon, and finally three hydrogens for the last carbon. So let's count up everything and make sure we have the correct molecular formula. So we have one, two, three, four, five carbons. So that's C5. And then we should have 12 hydrogens. Here's three, plus two gives us five, plus two gives us seven, plus two gives us nine, and then we, need, we have three more for a total of 12. So C5H12 is the molecular formula for this compound. All right, let's draw another structural isomer that has the same molecular formula. So instead of drawing five carbons in a chain, now we have to draw four. So let's start by drawing four carbons. We need a total of five carbons, so we need to show the fifth carbon branching off of our chain. So we could show the fifth carbon branching off of our chain here. Let's draw in those five carbons. So here we have our five carbons. Let's count up hydrogens. Carbon on the left has three, so three hydrogens here. Three hydrogens on this top carbon. There's only one hydrogen on this carbon, two hydrogens on this one, and finally three hydrogens on this carbon. So let's count up our atoms. So let's use red for this one. We have one, two, three, four, five carbons, so that's C5. And then for hydrogens, we have three here, plus three gives us six, plus one gives us seven, plus two gives us nine, and three more for a total of 12. So C5H12 is the molecular formula for this compound. So these two, these two drawings represent two different molecules. Both of these molecules have the molecular formula C5H12, but they differ in terms of how those atoms are connected. They, turn, they differ in terms of their structure. So we call them structural isomers of each other. All right, to draw another structural isomer, some students might say, oh, well, we could start with four carbons in our chain again. And this time, instead of showing, instead of showing a branch off of this carbon, we could show a branch off of this carbon. And so a student might draw this structure and say, okay, there's a different structural isomer. But actually, these are just two different ways to represent the same molecule. If you analyze that second structure that we just drew, right, the connections are the same. We have a CH right here bonded to a CH3, bonded to a CH3, and bonded to a CH2. And the CH2 is bonded to a CH3. That's the same, that's the same structure as what we drew out over here. So it looks like it's a different structure. Right? It's a different drawing than the one up here. But actually, this is just two different ways to represent the same molecule. All right, so we have two structural isomers so far. Uh, let's think about one more. So we can no longer do four carbons in our chain, so we go down to three carbons. So we start with three carbons in our chain. We know we need a total of five carbons, so we need to show two more carbons added to our chain, and we would have to add those two carbons to our central carbon like that. Let's draw out all of our carbons here. And let's add in our hydrogens. So this carbon would have three hydrogens. Same with this carbon. And the same with this one. And finally, the same for this carbon. The carbon in the center, right? this carbon in the center here already has four bonds. So it doesn't have any hydrogens on it. Let's count up everything. Let's count our carbons first. One, two, three, four, five carbons. So C5. And then we have three hydrogens, plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus three is 12. So C5H12 is the molecular formula 
for this compound. And this is a, another structural isomer. So it's a different molecule from the other two. So we have a total of three structural isomers that have the molecular formula C5H12.